Nausea is a big problem. We're much better at controlling vomiting. One of the sessions here at MASK was actually nausea is the new black, uh, and there was a few hour, a couple hour session dealing with that particular issue. So we've gotten much better at controlling vomiting, but not as much with nausea. Um, so there is uh, new information that a drug called olanzapine, it's an antipsychotic medication used for patients with schizophrenia sort of things for long-term processes. Uh, it's used long-term in those patients, but there are data that actually it can decrease nausea and vomiting in patients. Um, so recent uh, uh, presented information demonstrates that when you add olanzapine to standard anti-emetic chemotherapy, a 5-HT3 receptor antagonist, an NK1 receptor antagonist, and dexamethasone, and you add olanzapine to that, which happens to be a generic, relatively cheap medication, as opposed to many of these other medications, that it will dramatically improve the chance of patients not having any nausea through a five-day period of time. It increases the chance that patients will not have any nausea for the whole five-day period of time by 20 percentage points or so, and it also increases the chance that patients will not have vomiting and not need rescue medications. So it seems like it's a plus in both of those settings. This area of glanzapine is relatively new. There are different guidelines for antiemetics when using with chemotherapy. Some of the guidelines that are out there, like the NCCN, has actually been recommending olanzapine for the last couple of years. Other guidelines are starting to recommend olanzapine. So it's a, it's a moving field. I think it's worth noting that the new research demonstrates that olanzapine does decrease nausea and decreases vomiting also. I think that uh, the, other, the other aspect to know about this, two other aspects, there are two other aspects to know about this. One is a relatively cheap medication, less than $5 for a four-day course. And two, it can cause some drowsiness in some patients. So you take decreased nausea, but the risk of some drowsiness, and that's where we have. The quick take-home message is that olanzapine, an older medication, lots of new data suggesting that it actually does decrease nausea and vomiting in a preventive manner, and also in patients who get chemotherapy and have anti-nausea medications given and still get nausea or vomiting. It's actually one of the best treatments for treating those patients to decrease the nausea and vomiting once it gets established.